Most of the breads that I make involve yeast, except for this recipe. This has got to be one of the easiest, cheapest and quickest, least effort breads to make. Today on Jay's World Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make bannock. To make your basic bannock, you're going to need three cups of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of baking powder, one and three quarter cups of warmed milk, and one eighth of a cup of vegetable oil. And it really is straightforward. Now you can easily double this recipe if you're making it for more than one person. Of course, I don't like a lot of food waste, so I'm just making this one small one. It doesn't take much effort at all. In a large to medium bowl, we're just going to put in our flour and our baking powder and just gently whisk that together. And now we're going to add in our milk and our oil. Now, my milk is not quite boiling. It's a little bit below that, but it's certainly more than lukewarm. And we're going to pour that in and then follow by our oil and simply mix it with a spoon. Now the wonderfully easy thing about this recipe is that it really doesn't take a lot of effort. I've literally been stirring it for not even two minutes and it's come together into quite a sticky dough and that's quite okay. So we're just going to clean off our spoon like that. And I am using a parchment lined baking sheet and what we're going to do we're going to simply take our bannock out like that. Again, we're not overmixing because we really don't want to overmix. We are going to make this into a kind of a round bread shape. It's never going to be perfect. That's okay. It's part of the charm. And just like that. And now that our loaf is roughly shaped, we're going to pop that into a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 35 to 45 minutes until it has risen and has a crust on it. So this was quite different because normally when you bake a bread with yeast, you can smell that yeast throughout the house and it's got its own very unique smell. This smells a little bit more subtle uh, and there's not that sort of very bready smell to it. What's interesting about this is the, the crumb itself. Um, this resembles really the texture of a cake or maybe a, a muffin that's a little bit more dense. I do love that when I broke into this with a knife, it, there's a crisp to the, to the crust that is just amazing. But the bread itself feels very soft. So let's give this a taste. As such a simple recipe, the bread texture and flavor is all there. Uh, I, I really like this. It's not quite the same as a regular white bread, but it's pretty darn close. I really do like the sort of harder shell crust that's almost like an artisan bread, but not quite. And really no effort at all, simply just mixing it up together. Now the great thing about this, there's a myriad of recipes out there. This recipe is an absolute basic one, but you can add in things like butter or traditionally dried fruits and things like that just to give it some liveliness. But this is really incredible. You've got to try this. And if you do, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section how this turned out for you. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and remember to turn on notifications so that you know when my next video drops. Remember too that you can follow me on all of my social media, and those links are below in the comments section as well. Now, if you would like to try some more of my bread recipes, check out this playlist right here.
Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy eating.